All right, guys, this is our second install of the day. Um, we got a perfect walkway into the home. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better walkway. And then the kitchen is wide open. I mean, man, I couldn't be happier. If every job I walked into was like this, <laughs> I'd be sitting pretty. Uh, so uh, no complaints here. Uh, everything's wide open. Everything looks to be in good shape. Um, we want to, of course, do our part to cover up the floor and protect from any uh, property damage and uh, get the install in and get it as perfect as we can get it and uh, be out of the homeowner's hair, you know, in a good amount of time and leave the place looking as nice and clean as when we came. So first thing we're going to do is start getting the floor covered up. We're going to check the templates to the cabinets. Uh, we're going to, the customer been using this uh, these old countertops and things here uh, while he was waiting on countertops. Um, so we're just going to move them out of the way and get started. So I'll touch base with you uh, throughout the job, let you know if we're running any issues or anything. But uh, I think this one's going to go pretty good. All right, guys. One problem we ran into here when you have these large sinks and you have a normal regular opening for the cabinet, your sink is too big for the cabinet. So what happens is you set your sink in here and there's not enough room for the sink to actually go into the cabinet opening. So if you leave it uniform, what happens is your sink sets up a sixteenth of an inch over everything, which in turn causes your countertops to be a sixteenth of an inch over everything. So we had to modify it, cut a little off the top of it so that we can have this sink set a sixteenth down inside of there. Your dishwasher goes in this opening, which covers up anything you did on this side. Of course this side you have countertops over and cabinets so i mean you never see it unless you get in there looking for it and uh as you can see now your sink sits below the lip of your cabinet and what we're doing over here we always block the cooktop um so that we're doing the least amount of cutting in, inside the house but the cutting we do do, we always put, it's called a cooktop bag. You can order them from Braxton and Bragg. We put them inside of here so that it catches any dust and keeps it from going inside the cabin. All right, guys, we have finished the job. Everything went really smooth, so I didn't have a lot of uh, stopping and recording while uh, we was doing the job. It was pretty much rock and roll from start to finish here. Um, so everything went in well. Uh, the seams, uh, the customer asked why they was a little lighter, and that's from... Of course, the uh, two-part epoxy for the seams drying on them. Once the sealer dries, of course, it'll all, all the color will blend in. You got spots that are dry, spots that are still wet. So, uh, but everything went together real well. Of course, uh, the Lunar Pearl, the seams, you know, they, uh, they go together real well. Um, I mean, they're pretty much invisible. You can be right up on them and not see them. Uh, we got the sink mounted. It, it, these sinks are pretty tight, so of course we use some wooden brackets in there to mount it up. Plus, we used a black mamba on top, so had to take an act of God for that sink to ever move. Um, cleaned up everything. We did forget the painter's caulk this side while going over the aftercare sheet. The customer noticed it, and I'm glad he did, so we could take care of that without a drive back up here. Uh, we got the aftercare sheet there we always use and uh, cleaned up all of our mess, tried to sweep the floor and clean up best we could. So uh, hopefully uh, hopefully his wife's happy when she gets back from her trip. Uh, of course we swept out the sink after drilling and all that stuff, put all the drawers back in. So I mean you couldn't really ask for a better job, couldn't really ask for a better customer. So uh, every, everything went good guys. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.